Every AI video generator has one amazing feature, but I've just found a way to be able to access all of them at the same time, and we only have to pay for one subscription. Here's the problem. Google has that insane image quality and the audio that comes out, but is incredibly expensive to run or you're tied into the Google ecosystem. Minimax nails that prompt adherence, but it takes longer to get results. Kling has the sharpest resolution, but isn't always available. Runway is versatile and beginner friendly, but can sometimes feel a bit generic compared to the other ones. And if you want to be able to access all of these, that's where it can get really pricey really quick. Then I discovered FreePick AI, the all-in-one platform for image and video generation. But here's where things get wild. FreePick isn't just AI video generation. You can train your own characters with the image generation, turn those into videos, and finish off the entire process with the ability to have voiceovers and music all seamlessly. One of my favorite features is all you need to do is write one prompt and you'll be able to compare the outputs from multiple different models. It's literally everything in one place. But how does it really work? Well, once you log into FruPic AI, you'll be able to see the dashboard that we've got here. It's really easy to navigate yourself around. For example, here we can have a look at the community. So these are other images, videos that have been generated. You can flick through all of them. And one of the features I love is where you're able to get access to the prompts as well. So if we wanted to reuse it, we could do that as well. I think this is one of the great features about this is it takes that image idea through to delivery incredibly quickly. If we come across, they got the different styles that come through. We've got some of the top creators here as well. So maybe if you've got that mood board, you'd be able to find the creator that best suits you or actually display your work as well. But if you want to generate a result, come down to the AI suite. You'll see all of the different features they've got here. They've got everything from image generation. They've got image editor, upscaler, reimagining. We can do sketches into images. We've got all of the video generation features in there as well, including some sound effects as well, which we'll touch on a little bit later. We can do audio in here as well. And we've got designer for mock-ups, which we'll show you a little bit later on. First things first, we're going to generate an image. So we'll come into here. We'll be able to see all of the images that we've generated in the past. So it's nice and easy to recall. And if you want to bring them to life, you've got the option in here to do video, edit, or recreate. If we come across into here, we're going to paste our prompt. And we're going to make sure that we've got this AI prompt turned on because it's going to enhance the results that we get out nice and easily. As mentioned, FreePick is basically a really polished front end that has access to lots of different platforms so that you can choose the one that you want nice and easily. So for example, if we come down to model, we can see all of the different image gen models available. We've got Mystic, we've got Google Gen, we've got Flux, Seadream, Ground, GPT Runaway, and everything from the leading platforms. But the reason I love the auto is because it's going to help us choose the best outputs. So now what we'll do is we'll come down. We can see that we can add reference images. So you can either upload a file or you can use previous creations like we can see here. We can also access some of the stock images that are available through FreePick as well, as well as community images if we wanted to do it that way too. We're going to close this down though. If we come a bit further down, we've got lots of different styles that we can choose between. There are more styles here than I know what to do with, to be honest. There are so many different variations of what we could do. So the prompt that we've put in there is all around Atlantis. So maybe we want it to look a bit more realistic. So what we can do is come up to the top and choose photo. We're then going to come down to where we've got composition so we can do the different styles. So maybe we want it to be more landscape we can add some different effects in here so we can do wide shot tilted shots portraits anything we wanted in here indoor lighting studio so it gives that real easy control over the images as well we can do characters so maybe you want to create a consistent character we can generate it using the ones that already exist or create a new character by training it on our own character you need between 12 to 24 high quality images and it's going to take up around 5,000 credits, 6,000 credits 
to go and generate that character the first time. And that's a really good time to touch on pricing. So if we come across to here, as we can see, really cost efficient. We've got easy stepping up as we need it as well. You can get started for free, but it's very, very limited use. When you come up to that essentials plan, as you can see, we're able to start generating some of the videos with the latest models out here. As you can see, all of the different ones available and the pricing is very similar to what you'd be paying with platforms like Replicate if you were to go through and generate it with them instead. We've got AI sound, image editing, and so, so many more. So we'll come back across. We're also able to add any objects in here if we want to, and we can also change the colors. So if you want it to be against a specific theme, we're able to do that as well. Now I'm gonna come up to here, and just to show you how it works, we'll go through and choose maybe Sea Dream for that image generation. We're gonna send this off and we're gonna wait for the image to come back. Again, this is incredibly quick to get these images back. And as we can see here, I think that looks pretty good for an initial image. We've got a few different options so we can recreate it, upscale it, create a video or use the image. I'm gonna go through and upscale it first because we want the best quality possible. We're able to go through and describe it so we can say, please make it look more realistic. We've got all of these different options in here. We're going to say upscale, which is going to use around 180 credits. So as you can see, you can get through them pretty quickly depending on your usage. But it's so easy to have everything in one place to get the outputs that you want. So as we can see here, we've now got the image upscaled and we can do the before and after to see how that quality has improved. And it looks much more realistic afterwards. You can see the quality of the water's improved. It looks much better than it did before. So now we want to bring this to life. We can come down the bottom and we can do create a video. It's going to be able to add our starter image in there straight away. We're going to be able to add the model. So as you can see here, we've got the same as the image generation. We can do auto or we can use WAN, C, Dance, Kling, Google, all of these different ones. So we've got lots of control over that model that we want. We're going to say that we want it to be 16 by 9, that widescreen version. And we want it to be quite a short video in this use case. You can add any other versions in here if you want. And we're going to enhance the prompt with AI. So there we go. We've now got it back. We'll be able to send this off. So make sure it's widescreen. And then we're going to go off and generate the video for us. It goes off and it takes a little while to get this response. Just because if you're salting off of that lower tier, it's going to put it in the queue to generate. So whilst we're ready for that response back, let's check out some other videos that are generated a little bit earlier on. If we come back into the models across to Halo 2, we can also set up the camera motions as well. I think this is one of my favorite features because it makes it so much easier to get the output that we're looking for versus trying to go through and generate some ideas. So let's test this out. So what we want to do is come back to maybe where we've got my creation. So the ones that we've done in the past, we're going to come down maybe to where we've got more of an action scene in here. We're going to say create a video. We've now got lots and lots of different options in here. So maybe what we can say is we'll do left circling. And then we can add a part in here and we'll be able to change the options in here as well as so the different settings if you want to do that and we'll send this off and it's going to generate that video for us as well and that's how quick and easy it is to add some different camera motions into the outputs that we're looking for as well so we'll just wait for both of these videos to come back and check them out so we've got our first result back here so we can open this up and check it out as we can see here again that image quality is still not 110 percent but it's doing incredibly well for that input that we gave it. And it's just on that first iteration. As you can see, a few issues with the birds disappearing, but that's got nothing to do with free pick AI, more the quality of the original AI video generation tool. You can also go through and extend the video if you wanted to, or add it to project as well. So we'll come down here. And as you can see, we can apply sound effects if we want to. So now we'll come across the left hand side. We can say, please add gusts gusts of wind waves crashing and sound effects we're going to be able to upload our video which is the one that we've just generated and we're going to say generate it now so there we go we just got it back and let's give it a listen
So there we go. I heard the gusts of wind and the waves crashing, but I didn't hear any of the seagulls, so maybe just didn't understand that. But that's how, for example, here we can get sound effects over the top of videos like Google VO3, but without the complexity of having to stitch it together with lots of different platforms. That's how quick and easy it is to go from an initial image that we generated, upscale that image, and then go through and turn it into a video and add sound effects all within one platform. So there we go. We've now got that latest result back, as we can see here. It's now able to go through and show that person running away from the camera. Again, incredibly good for that motion, just like we would have for a cinematic camera. And able to do this all automatically, we'd be able to go through and upscale this video on another platform just to make sure we get the best quality. And what we can also do to take it to the next level is, as I showed you before, add some sound effects over the top or even a voiceover. To do the voiceover, come over to the AI suite. We can then come over to the AI voiceover here. We've got lots and lots of different ones that we can use. They're put into these different characters straight away. For example, if we wanted to come down to trailers, maybe it's more of that trailer voice for this specific scene. We'll be able to have an American voice in the background. Your voice has the power to inspire. We can have maybe an English. A single kind word can change the course of someone's day. Każda historia kryje lekcje do odkrycia. La esperanza. Spanish, Polish, and so many more that you've got all natively ready to go. Now, perhaps we want to come down. We use this Lord Nerilithan, or however you say that. We're going to be using 11 labs to generate that voice, so it's going to be incredibly good quality. We can paste our prompt in there, and then we'll be able to do generate a voice. And now we can give it a quick listen. In a world where four AI video giants ruled the screen, Luma, Runway, Minimax, Kling, each one powerful, each one expensive, until now. So there we go. As we can see, I think that sounds very good for that voice that we've been able to use all natively within here that maybe we could go over the top of the video like a script. If you want to access some of the other features as well, we did the sound effects a bit earlier on, but for example, music, it's got lots of free music already included, completely copyright and royalty free, so you can use it as much as you want. They've got all the different styles in here, so you can use it as much as you need in the videos as well really making it that one-stop shop for a lot of these different use cases. Now we're going to come back across and what we're going to do is just come across to where we've got the mock-up generator. So this is where if you've got a product you're designing, improving or just testing out, what we can do is overlay some of our images on top. So as you can see at the bottom here, they've got a few examples ready to go. So for example, if we come down to where we've got the apparel, we'll be able to do the beach towel here. We can generate one mock-up and we want it maybe for a social media story. We'll generate the mock-up now. This is going to give us the base for us to go and be able to add our products over the top. So as we can see here, it's generated in the background. It's also been able to mask that towel for us. So now if we come up to layers and we get one of the images, maybe we've got this small icon here. Use the image. As we can see, it's now able to go onto that towel nice and easily. So the background colors don't quite mix. So we'd be able to go through and make those changes. But as you can see here, able to go from idea all the way through to a product mockup incredibly quickly. Make sure to check the link below to be able to find free pick AI and let me know your thoughts. What would you use a tool like this for? Stay tuned for more around AI automation and have a great day.